Thank you very much. I just want to, to um, inform all of you that Dr. Habib has an accident. So his, his tongue, shwayla speech is uh, probably affected by this. Yeah. Uh, and salamat, much of sure. So <laughs> just, just to let you know about it. Dr. Shukran, Habib, it's shukran, a pleasure shukran. to have you with us in Dubai. Shukran, shukran. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I will try to uh, speak to you when you change everything, and I apologize for this. Uh, I'm honored and privileged to be here. Thank you very much to Moses Fabler and the GIS support for the CAC invitation. Uh, I have no conflict of interest. So uh, this, is, this case was not done by myself. It was done by one of my collaborators, and uh, I was not in the department that day. Uh, so this is a 58-year-old male uh, patient who is a smoker uh, who had ulterior STEMI with successful thrombolysis and uh, he was brought to the cath lab three days later. So this is the uh, history of injury arm, as you can see, uh, tight region of the AAD, bifurcation with the diagonal. And uh, it was planned to have a uh, music plan, uh, meaning two wires, a uh, center of the LED, and, uh, uh, and then uh, 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 testing uh, balloon and assessing the results after, afterwards. Uh, Presentation was uh, done with a two uh, by 18 millimeter balloon. This is the result. And then LED stinking was a long stent. C by 28. As you can see, uh, a plaque shifting into the diagonal, so part, by an NC balloon, C by 50 millimeter. And this is the result after the uh, port uh, procedure. At that point, it was decided to have a kissing uh, balloon. Which is really important to mention is the balloon that was used for presentation of the LED, the 2 by 18 millimeter balloon, was actually placed into the diagram, and another balloon, 275 by 15, was placed into the LED for the testing uh, balloon procedure. Putting the uh, diagonal balloon after the testing, uh, the operator has hard time because the balloon was stuck to the wire and he has to pull out everything, balloon and um, wire, and it was a forceful manipulation. This is what he has seen after pulling out the diagonal balloon. So this is a stent that was fractured, as you can see here in your stent boost. One segment, another one. So this is the, a uh, stent fracture, which is not very, very common, but in fact it was published for the first time for the BMS in 2002, for the GS in 2004. And uh, of course, after more case reports published, there were some efforts to have a specification of the sense fracture, few authors. Most uh, probably, this specification is the most widely uh, known. It was uh, 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 reported by Nakazawa, and this is what's, uh, what it tells us. So five types of uh, sense fracture a single stress fracture is type one, where most likely you would not be able to see it very clearly by flow. Type two, more than two stress fracture. Type three, more than two stress fracture with deformation of the stent. Type four, fracture with transection, but no gap. And type five, a fracture with, with a gap between the uh, two segments. Now, what's the answer? How frequent do we see it? Uh, again, in the beginning, people, they did not look for it, but, but now 
because we are using imaging more and more, so we can see that uh, the incidence between 0 and 6% depends on the type of sense, depends on the anatomy. And uh, we know now that uh, it's, it's not uh, that uh, Now, what's the incidence uh, as, uh, as to timing? You see that actually, after three years, you have more uh, risk of sense fracture, and that's more related to missile fatigue. Now, what kind of, uh, uh, what pattern of sense fracture we can see? So, it's half and half, 50% type 1 and 2, 50% approximately type 3 and 4, which is a more deformed sense pattern. <clears throat> Now, how we identify that, again, thorough with the uh, enhancement, visualization of the scent, scent booth, scent vis, the imaging of the poor, as we call it, it can show most of the uh, type 3 and 4 uh, sense fracture. Otherwise, IVS and mainly OCT is probably the best modality for identifying that sense fracture. CC scan, as you can see here, also is good to, to show it. What are the predictors? RCA seems to be the most frequent location for such complication, but we have to remember stent lengths, multiple stents, overlapping, and here's mostly with bending of the stents are predictors of stent fracture. Lumen eccentricity or lumen asymmetry is also a uh, projection because the physics actually could just deform the stent and then be a projection of stent fracture. Stent fracture is associated with a higher incidence of cardiovascular events with instant cirrhosis, occlusion, TRR, coronary aneurysm and sense thrombosis. So if you have it, you have to fix it. Otherwise, you will have more incidence of cardiovascular events. How would you see this? Depends on the type. A sample fracture can be fixed with NC bail inflation or probably GCB is maybe a better option. If it is a complex fracture, then you have to stand into the stand. So how uh, that case was managed, my colleague, he has, uh, has a reflex of using a longer sense, which will cover the two segments, C by 48 millimeter, and this is the way it looks at the end. Good results. Of course, he forgot about that diagonal. So, he needs to go back to see anything about it because it was the, the, the main problem. Now, what are the take home messages from this case? First of all, sense fracture is not as a, as we might think. It's most likely in the diagnose because we don't look for it and because we don't use very frequently coronary imaging, this in our, in our uh, reading our context. Uh, sense fracture does increase the risk of cardiovascular events, so if we identify it, we need to fix it. And severe predictors have been identified, including long multiple sense classification, CCO. And in this particular case, I think, forceful manipulation and the use of a used balloon. I don't know, I don't want to go into the uh, sensitive part of what type of balloon, I didn't mention any brand, but I can tell you, the balloon that, we, that was used in that particular case was not from a very, very, very well known brand. I will stop at that point. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.